let's get something out of the way. This is not a sponsored video for DistroKit. They did reach out to me and let me try out their service, and I used the trial to release a song on Spotify, iTunes, and lots of other platforms. But in this video, I'm going to give you my honest opinion of the service and some advice on releasing your own songs and how you get paid for plays and some information about other options available too. Now, if you decide to sign up for DistroKid after this video, great. I do have an affiliate link that I requested from DistroKid so that I can pass on a discount to you. In fact, you can set up your own affiliate link to earn a little money when you refer your friends, just like my link. Use it or don't, it's up to you. But here's my two cents about DistroKid. So what is DistroKid? DistroKid is a service that acts as a middleman between you and the online music stores and streaming services out there. If you have a song, a beat, or pretty much any audio to share with the world, DistroKid distributes it for you. So where do they distribute? Well, virtually everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, YouTube Music, Pandora, Salmon, iHeartRadio, and lots more. Yeah, your track is going everywhere. It's $20 a year to upload unlimited songs and to keep them on the platforms of your choice. It's a subscription-based service, unlike some other services that charge you by the song or album upload. More on that later. How do you do it? Well, this is what I loved most. You just sign up and start uploading. The DistroKid interface is so simple, clean, no frills, no upsells. There is a short waiting time before your stuff actually appears on different platforms. Spotify and Apple Music are really quick. Those are probably the ones you want to distribute to fastest anyway. If you already have Spotify and iTunes profiles, you can connect to them from DistroKid. It's super easy. Just fill in your song name, upload an album cover, and a few more fields, and you're done. DistroKid keeps things really simple. After your song is live on platforms, you can monitor your stats from DistroKid with the upgraded plans. But with the basic plan, you can monitor them from your Apple Music or Spotify accounts. On the settings tab, you have some other free tools. Take the time to explore this every time you upload a track. There's some important stuff here. First, you can set up your referral code just like I did to give your friends a discount and earn a little money when they join DistroKid. Next, you can credit the people who helped you create your song, like musicians, producers, and others. After that, you can set up HyperFollow, which is an excellent feature. What HyperFollow does is create a page that has links to your music on all major platforms. This way you can just add a link to this page from Facebook, your website or wherever, and people clicking that link can select their preferred platform and go directly to your music. Not only that, when people use this link with Spotify, they automatically follow you, get your song added to their list and more. It's a great way to start growing your audience and keeping them up to date on your releases. It takes just a second to create and it's really helpful. Next is Vault, where DistroKid keeps a backup of all your uploaded music, just in case you ever lose it. Finally, we have Fixer, which is super important. I used this immediately, uh, more on that later. Close to the bottom, you have convenient links that go directly to your Spotify and Apple Music profiles. So you can edit your profiles and get your songs on playlists. I have some advice for you on that, keep watching. Now, a word about other plans. For $36 a month, the Musician Plus plan gives you some additional features. The one I like the most is the option to set a custom release date, which is valuable when you submit your song for a Spotify playlist. More on that later in this video. You can also have two artists or band names. The other additional features are nice to have, but not necessary. The top tier plan is great if you manage five artists or more. What about your earnings? You earn money for plays on Spotify or if someone buys your song on iTunes or wherever. This is another great thing about DistroKid. You keep all your earnings. They don't take a percentage like other distributors who can take a commission from your sales. And those typically range from nine to 15%. That's a lot of money lost if you get a lot of plays. So. What's up with the competition? There are lots of different models for distributing your music. 
CD Baby, one of the biggest out there, charges an upfront fee for each song or album. And you have to share a cut of your earnings, the commission, with CD Baby. Other companies will charge you less to upload, but may take higher commissions. So if you're uploading a lot of songs or beats, you end up racking up high upfront costs. And if you get a lot of plays, you're losing a percentage to commissions. So that makes DistroKid sound really good, right? Yes, for the average independent artist, it's a great deal, $20 a year to upload as many songs as you want, and you keep all your earnings, great. To balance that benefit, you do need to stay subscribed to DistroKid. That means you keep paying that yearly fee of $20 to keep your uploaded songs on the platforms you distributed to. But DistroKid has an option called Leave a Legacy that ensures that your song or album won't be pulled if you discontinue your service with them. They charge $30 for a single or $50 for an album. That's a one-time fee for that service. Hey, if you end up having a song or album that does really well, it's worth opting in for that. And you still get to keep all your earnings. So from my uploading experience, I learned a few things. And here's my most important advice. Start the process early, especially if it's your first time. You need to get your Spotify and Apple profiles created and you need to apply for a Spotify curated playlist. You should set your release date in DistroKid to at least two weeks in the future. This gives you time to get your Spotify profile and verified check mark that DistroKid helps you get. And you have enough time to make your profile look right and write up a nice description. Most important, it ensures you enough time to submit your song to Spotify editorial playlists for consideration. And if your song gets selected for one of those playlists, you can watch those plays start to rack up. Every time you release a new track or album, follow that two week rule. Start early and submit to Spotify editorial playlists. Once you create your Spotify artist profile, you'll be able to submit every song you upload for consideration. You do all of that on your Spotify profile, by the way. Now, a couple weird things happened when I uploaded my song for the first time, and I'll get to that in a second. But if you want to know how I created my song Undone, I've created a few videos sharing all the plugins I use and how I mastered it. I'll put a link to those in the video description or up here. All right, some unexpected things happened when I uploaded to DistroKid. First, apparently, I'm not the only Sanjay C out there. Google Play Music had another artist by the name of Sanjay C, and when I uploaded my song, it added to that guy's profile and song list. Not cool. But I was able to use the DistroKid system to sort out the issue. Remember when I showed you that fixer link in DistroKid settings? It's easy to fix issues like this straight from the DistroKid website. The problem was resolved in a few days. Now, another interesting thing I noticed is that most of the platforms had my music ready quickly. I mean, just a day or a few days, but other platforms took a month or a little bit more. Those platforms were Napster, TikTok, MediaNet, and iHeartRadio. Now, I don't know if this was because it was my first upload or what, but that's a long time. So now that I have my song out there, am I raking in the money? <laughs> Not quite. Earnings are super low unless you've got a lot of plays or downloads. I'm just starting out, so it'll take some time. Keep your expectations in check and be patient. Most of all, Find ways to promote your music, Instagram, YouTube. These are free ways of getting eyes and ears on your talent. Like I said in the beginning, do your research, find out what distribution services are best for you and read the fine print. I hope you learn all you need to about DistroKid from this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Now, if you're ready to sign up for DistroKid, you can get your discount using the link in my video description. I know many of you are already making songs and beats. You're making the music you love and it's time to get it out there. Share it with the world. And I'm always here to share a little advice along the way. I'll see you guys later.